It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? Hope y'all ready for this one. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bucks get ready to go on offense for the first time, and it's Baker Mayfield leading him out in his second season as a Buccaneer at his seventh overall. And he had a most impressive bounce-back season last year, nearly leading his team to the NFC Championship game. That's not something you see every day, and he was rewarded for it as Tampa Bay decided to make him definitely their quarterback for the future. Now for him, he wants to prove it's not a one-year thing, and in fact, he is the long-term answer for this franchise. Baker going to throw this right away. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. And their coach told us the other day that they wanted to get him in a nice groove right out of the gate. And one way to do that, give him quick throws where he get the ball out of his hand in a hurry, as he did there. A first carry for Rashad White. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And that good, strong run could serve a little bit as a metaphor because White is someone who took a sizable leap from year one to year two. Essentially doubled his yardage output with over 1,500 yards from scrimmage, and that success appears to have carried over to this season. They go right back to White here on first down, taken down at the 42. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing, Mayfield gets the check down throw to right. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And third and eight now. now. They couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Mayfield down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Mayfield. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Mayfield to throw it. This is caught by Evans. 
And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 21. A gain there of 21 yards. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. He doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be... Now Mayfield lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got him. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at the 34. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw is going to be incomplete. David Montgomery, the target out of the backfield, but it's going to be second down. Here's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Oh, what a juke into space. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because that big man did not want to go down and refused to go down. If you're a defender and you don't get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. In motion goes the tight end. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good. But you know on their side of the field all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. They'll run for the first time with a speedster, Jameer Gibbs. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Play action. It's gone. Open man right side is St. Brown. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. For as much as we extol his route running and him as a pass catcher, he might be better with the ball in his hands. He did not want to go down there until he found the end zone. And while he didn't quite get there, he and his guys are set up near the goal line now, first and goal. Goff now looks to throw. There's the pull, and he's got it. Touchdown, Lions. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Lions use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them.
Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Here's Mayfield. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Mayfield from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mayfield looks to throw. Otten brings it in over the middle. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and three. Running out of the gun with White. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. In motion right is Evans. Mayfield now from the 50. This is White on the screen. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. First down, here's White. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. In motion left, Godwin. To throw, Mayfield. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. So the completion good for just three. And it brings up third and five now. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, 
They want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Now Mayfield. That is caught. And out of bounds right around the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. They'll look to throw here on first down. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. He finds Otten over the middle. And the Bucs are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Here's White. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. From the gun, Mayfield caught on the slant. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Chris Godwin, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Well, now how about this return? He's to midfield. Still going past the 30. And it'll be an excellent return as he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Well, that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now a play fake, and it's golf. And it's caught. And in for the Lions touchdown. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have taken the lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Through one quarter, 14 7, our score.
Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. As they've got it as we resume action. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The attention shifting back to Chris Godwin and the rest of the Tampa offense. Defensively, they didn't have an answer last drive. They're going to have to do something here. Five catches alone on the previous series, the touchdown two. And you and I both know that defensive coordinators tell us all the time, we don't wait for halftime for adjustments, things of that nature, right? We adjust series to series. Well, I think sometimes you need to adjust play to play because that last series, he absolutely shredded them. I've got to send more people his way and make someone else beat me on the next drive if I'm the defense. I've got to do something. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Palmer going in motion right. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Seven catches for him now in this last one, the first down. Godwin with a nice grab there, and he's been a consistent weapon for this Buccaneers offense, although a bit unheralded. He's eclipsed the 1,000-yard mark for each of his last three seasons, and his ability to make plays on all three levels is invaluable for not just his franchise, but his quarterback, Baker Mayfield. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Ball on the 39. Here's the second down and four. Mayfield down. Throw right side taken in by Godwin. And Godwin going to have a box first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And again, it's Mainfield. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Mayfield to throw it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Throwing Mayfield. It's caught. This is White. And he is going to lose yardage here. This will wind up a loss on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced a third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game.
After the made field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here come the Lions now. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Off play action. Here's Goff. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. First carry now for David Montgomery. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. Levante David in on the tackle. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? They work now on second and nine. In motion, the tight end. Montgomery on the counter. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 40 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. Now gone. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback. Because that was awfully close. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. And he'll be on just a yard or two shy of the 30. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And his kick is indeed good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And able to get this out to the 25. The Buccaneers offense and Baker Mayfield set to take over once more. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They run straight ahead here with White. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The Bucks on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. A fourth down. Here's Jay Camarda on the punt for the Bucs. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. David Montgomery and the Lions about set to begin this next series. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that'll be incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Second and 10. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive and it winds up breaking big and they convert on third down. Goff now looks to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. He was out there waving his arms saying, throw it here, dropped it. Not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball. And he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And they'll send the tight end in motion. A shotgun snap for Goff. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. 
In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. It's a gain of just a couple there, but it's enough to get him the first. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. It's complete to Williams. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Goff now looking to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here's Gaw. That's to the tight end, Laporta. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Again, golf. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions have taken a two-touchdown lead now. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. now as they line up and kick this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime.
They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. And this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Mayfield looks to throw. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Take it in at the 22. That'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45, and the Lions will take over. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Goff. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Third and eight. To throw is golf. And now look at this. Big game by Fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Involved goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Off throwing again. He'll go right back to St. Brown. Then he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here now, second and four. From the gun, here's Goff. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Goff now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Gaw. Throw caught by Raymond. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 
Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. I couldn't take the chance. This will be returned from the goal line. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. performance out of their quarterback Jared Goff he got off to a hot start with two first quarter touchdown passes through another for good measure in the second quarter so he has been on target throughout the Lions in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense and Jared Goff set to take over once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. Most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Back to throw, Goff. And his throw is incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Gone. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Out of the gun. Gone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half. 
just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Williams, the man in motion left. Play action. It's gone. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Golf. And that's incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. This a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Now Mayfield. Over the middle to Evans. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. I tell you what, when you're down on the scoreboard, you've got to look to your stars. And that's what they do here to start the drive. I wouldn't be surprised if they looked his way a few more times in short order. That one, well designed, and it's a quick first down. From the gun, Mayfield. That's complete to White. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. Throwing Mayfield over the middle complete. That's Evans. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Just a gain of a couple there. 
And now one yard to go on third down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. On third down, a run from White. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. To throw, Mayfield. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Two yards on the pickup there, and that will bring up second down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Rashad White. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that cuts this lead down to 13. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was all finished off by a touchdown catch from Rashad White. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Lions offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, second down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Now gone. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. 
Goff now looks to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. The Buccaneers offense and running back Rashad White set to take over again. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. In motion goes the tight end. Play fake. Mayfield. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Here's Mayfield. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. And the throw and the catch were just fine. But again, zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. In motion right, Evans. Mayfield now. There's a short one taken in by Otten. Calling a gain of three on the play. And it's second down. Mayfield to throw it. He completes it to Evans. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a give up the middle. This is right. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that gets him back within 10. So they get the three. It was fourth and one. And I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But when have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, That's true. right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. 
And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions holding onto the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Here's Gaw. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. To the air again, Goff. Touchdown! Four touchdown passes now for Jared Goff. And the Lions are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the map there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. A try here for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Jamison Williams wrapping things up with a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. But that to the sideline and incomplete. Boy, they're going to say there's a receiver in the area. 
That was close to grounding, but it's second down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They went to their big body tight end on second down in hopes that he could plow his way to a first down. But they were ready for him defensively and ended up holding him to a modest gain. This offense so far on third down, they've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and four. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Mayfield looks to throw. Open man, it's Palmer. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And a catch right side by Evans. And the Buccaneers are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Going to the air again with Mayfield. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Mayfield. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Trey Palmer from six yards away. And the Buccaneers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. McLaughlin for the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Lions offensive receiver Amon Ross St. Brown set to go once more. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early, and it has paid giant rewards to this stage of the game. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. Now they can't bring him down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And what a tough spot for this defense because they know it's coming, but they're just powerless to stop it. What a great run there to start the drive. And you can bet there'll be more where that came from as they try to ice this game away. Gone. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. They'll fake the give. Now golf. That'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A gain of 32 that time. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Back to throw, gone. He'll find Williams on the slant. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Play action. It's gone. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. He has some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. So now following the sack, off and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. In motion right, that's Williams. Golf. Buying time to his left. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That's taken in by Palmer. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. 
Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. From the gun, Mayfield. He completes it right side to White. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You can have six, seven yards, do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. The Bucks on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and four. And that one to the right side and incomplete. And I think we'll probably see them go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. Finding room at midfield. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. And that's what you've got your tough little slot receiver for, isn't it? Right there, those fourth down conversions in the middle of the field. He knows that's where he has to make his living, and that's where he has to make plays to help his team. And no one is asking him to do anything more or less than do exactly what we saw there. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Here's second down and three. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Looking for Godwin and he's got him complete. And Godwin going to have a Bucs first down as he's down inside the 15. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here's first down. Here's Baker. Evans has it left side. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. Now first and goal. Mayfield. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. Now Mayfield. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Oh, Lee McNeil, what an effort to get in there and drop him. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to them quickly and put the quarterback down. Mayfield. He gets it over the middle to Palmer. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Mayfield to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. 
And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Here it is, fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So still a chance with just over 20 seconds to go, but they need to get this one back, no doubt. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.